You may recognize this pipe sketch as one that appears in many hydraulics publications. We use this to demonstrate that because mass is conserved in a closed system, the product of the area and the velocity in one pipe section is the same as the product of the area and velocity in another section, even if the diameter is changing. It just so happens that this simple relationship is one way that we can determine what is an acceptable pipe diameter for a new water pipeline. When determining the pipe diameter, we use the water demand, Q, as our primary input. The area of the pipe is a function of the diameter, so this is what we're trying to find, and the velocity used in this equation is given to us in the form of a design criteria. Generally, we want to limit the amount of velocity in a pipeline. One reason is that as velocity increases, the friction also increases, and this decreases the total energy that we're, tr we're delivering to the end user. It also means that all the money that we spent adding energy into the pipeline is simply burned off with the friction. Another reason is that sudden changes in velocity in a water system can have potentially catastrophic effects. But if we limit the velocity, then any sudden change in velocity will have a diminished impact on the system infrastructure. So, a common maximum velocity specified within a given water system is 8 feet per second, or 2.5 meters per second. Using this as our design criteria, we can size a given pipeline. For example, Let's suppose we need to deliver 710 gallons per minute in a pipeline where the velocity does not exceed 8 feet per second. The area of the pipeline is found by dividing the flow rate by the velocity criteria. We need the units of the flow rate to be in cubic feet per second. There are 7.48 gallons per cubic foot and there are 60 seconds in a minute so the conversion, conversion factor is 448.8 gallons per minute for every one cubic foot per second. Applying this to our problem gives us a minimum area of 0 0.198 square feet. The area of a circle is just pi d squared over 4, so solving for d gives us this expression. Inserting our calculated area, we find the minimum diameter to be 0 0.502 feet, or about 6.02 inches. Since there is no pipeline that is exactly 6.02 inches, we need to round up to the next standard diameter size, which is 8 inches. And that's how we use conservation of mass to size a pipeline when we are given a maximum velocity criteria.